All right, guys, welcome back to week three of building Endor in Lego. So last week, um, if you guys haven't checked out the first and second week, make sure you go check those out. A lot of progress has gotten done in the first two weeks, and I'm hoping to continue that in this third week here. So last week, we finished the shoreline and the beginning of the rock work on the left side of the mock. And this week, we are going to be focusing on the area that in the middle, right where the trooper is standing right now, the um, little trench or a little tunnel, whatever you want to call it. For some reason, I can't think of the word that I'm trying to think of. But yeah, basically this little path in here, in between the two sets of rock work, where I might have like an uplink station from like Battlefront 1, but... We'll see, but basically that's the part I want to get done this week. So finish off the rock work on the first layer of the mock, which is this small section right here. Um, like that goes up to this and then this left side. It's not the super tall cliff we will see on the second layer of rock work, which is not currently in the frame, but yeah, so let me zoom out a bit so you guys can see a bit more basically what I'm talking about is this tall section over here that keeps going up is what I'm talking about so that is going to be done at a later date right now we're just focused on finishing up these two little layers of rock work that you guys can see here so we will get started on that um, also I guess before we get started actually I want to say that Aside from the rock work, we also have to work on the terrain that'll be in between the rock work. So I'm hoping to get all that done this week. And then also as an added touch, we might finish up the grass over here. So this grass is, um, it's like the detailing on the grass is done. I just need to add like actual grass pieces onto it to cover it up. And that we might do this week if we've got time for that. But right now we're going to first focus on the um the little rockwork trench so without further ado i guess let's cut to a time lapse Alright guys, we just finished up here, um, it actually it was, did not take me as long as I thought it was going to take me to do this part. So I might do a little bit more this week, we'll see. Um, yeah, it really didn't take as long as I thought it would be, but I am starting to notice I'm going to have to be really careful because I'm starting to run out of pieces. So I'm going to have to figure that out. It's starting to run really low on my dark gray. So I'll have to work something out to make the second layer of rock work which is i don't think it'll take as many pieces as the top as the first layer but it's still gonna take a lot so i really need to figure that out but um i might have to like shorten it or something i'll, I'll take a look later once i start to really run out of pieces i'm getting close but like not super close yet um so we'll see what i'll have what i can do there but yeah so we finished up this little section in here and then, um, so I think what we'll do next is we'll do the grass. We'll put in some of the grass pieces, but here, let's take a look at what we got. So, 
um, we got, can't really see it here because of the shadow, but, um, oh yeah, that's going to be really messy, but I will move the light so you guys can see it better in a second. We got this side, so I think it turned out pretty nice. I don't really have a whole lot to cover up the studs here, unfortunately, and like, dude, I, I really, I don't want to order more reddish brown pieces because the reddish brown pieces are the worst color in Lego. Dude, I've, I've been going through this and I think I broke, already broke in like five reddish brown pieces. Like five or six just from what we built so far and I barely even use reddish brown so far. Reddish brown is a horrible color in Lego. So I don't really feel like buying more because they just break so easily. And um, yeah, probably like six reddish brown pieces that I've broken so far. It's terrible. Every time I build reddish with reddish brown, they just break. So, yeah, let's just, um, I think next, so I'll do the, I'll do a quick time lapse of the grass that's going to go right here, down here, and then we will see where we're at, and I need to figure out what we're going to do next. Not really sure yet. But yeah, so let's just quickly do a time lapse of this. Alright, so we just finished that, um... The plant section up i might change it up a bit just because i have other colors other than just green they have the lighter green color that i might use to break it up a bit but other than that i think that's pretty much final there and i might have to break it up also because i don't think i have enough of the green studs i don't know how i can show that it really is not a lot left so yeah i don't need to use them too much but it's nice to I, I think I'm definitely going to need more considering that this is supposed to be like the tiny section in terms of plants. The majority of the plants will be used in the rest of the build here. So yeah, I'll have to figure out what to do about that. And other than that right now, I think that I'm actually going to, oh yeah. So other than that plant section, I did do a bit in there. That part's really hard to capture on camera with the, um, my lighting situation and I might I'll work on that later so if you guys want to see on the inside there but that is indeed done so we got if we zoom out a bit we got all of this section done so and then the plants so I think that that's gonna be the end of it for this week actually um, next week we will so this week we didn't get a whole lot done compared to the others at least I feel like I feel like we didn't but like at the same time maybe we did because, like, this section took me some, I don't know how long, it took a bunch of hours just to complete. But I guess the terrain, I think it's because the terrain took me so long last week. Just the shoreline terrain took forever. That's why I feel like I did more last week. But, yeah, so I think that'll be it for week three. It's a bit of a smaller week, but week four will pick up. I think the progress on week four is not going to be, like, anything visually appealing. It's just going to be me figuring out how I'm going to integrate the next layer of like terrain on top of this rock work because obviously I've never done this rock work before so I got to figure out how in the world I'm going to integrate it here I can show you what I mean here hopefully it won't be too hard so I'll actually not just integrating the the terrain there I also need to figure out how I'm going to do that cliff over there but like if you look at this um on a level you can see that like these plates are not on the same level because they go up by one stud and so i need to figure out how i'm gonna put terrain on top of that and that's much more drastic over here where we can see it goes up like several times so i'm gonna have to figure that out and then also how i'm gonna blend this, the side of this mountain as it flips to the so it's gonna be sort of the rest of this, the mountain's gonna be facing like this way instead of being um like um, facing, instead of the way it's facing right now, it's going to be facing like this. So I'm going to have to do it on the side. And I have to figure out how to somehow make this look decent when I put the two together. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be next week's video. A lot of progress this week and I'm really happy about that. And um, it's starting to, I think the mock's starting to come together. It's starting to look pretty dang nice. And so far it's looking like I think my best indoor mock yet, but... We'll see if I can keep that up. Hopefully I won't run out of parts too quickly. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for me this week. Stay tuned for next week's video, and I will see you guys there.